Welcome back to Building America, sponsored by the Associated Builders and Contractors on federalnewsradio.com and 1500 AM. I'm your host, Jason Fornicola, and my guests are Mike Bellaman, President and CEO of ABC, and Greg Sizemore, ABC's Vice President of Safety and Workforce Development. Mike, what is ABC's position on promoting safety in the construction industry? Well, Associated Builders and Contractors, we're maniacs when it comes to world-class safety. Uh, and what we do is we've created a process called the Roadmap to World-Class Safety, which gives all of our members in the entire industry the opportunity to jump on board this world-class effort. And it really begins with leadership's uncompromising commitment to that world-class safety. If you get that, then you got a chance. Mm-hmm. Then you got to take that leadership commitment and transform your culture so that your culture believes all in- incidents are preventable. When you have that leadership commitment and you have that culture, then you can pra- embrace world-class process captured in our STEP framework. Uh, and then that, those three steps, lead to world-class results. STEP, the safety training evaluation process. Greg, can you talk more about what that is? Sure. Uh, our STEP process was a process that was developed in 1989 uh, by industry subject matter experts in the area of safety. Uh, These subject matter experts are part of a national committee that uh, oversees uh, this particular program. And what it allows contractors to do is evaluate every aspect of their safety performance program, from their safety culture to the very processes and procedures that they have in place. And, And it really does, to Mike's point earlier, help them start that journey to world class safety. We at Associated Builders and Contractors use that data that we collect from our members to build our safety performance report annually, and we distribute that out to our members as well. The safety performance report, that uh, third uh, annual edition of that recently came out. Mike, can you talk a little bit more about the SPR and some of its key findings? Well, the safety performance report uh, is uh, data from 1.1 billion hours of work on real projects with real people built by companies that are ABC members. And what we have learned is that uh, from that cause and effect analysis of that safety performance report is that leadership and culture are key and critical to delivering world-class results. Leadership, that uncompromising commitment, without that, you don't have the opportunity to deliver world-class results. The safety performance report gives you good, solid cause and effect data with regards to six leading indicators, all derived out of that leadership commitment. And I think it's important to reiterate here, we're talking about um, concepts that are data-driven. You mentioned real work on real projects. These aren't surveys. These aren't anecdotal. This is data that's coming from real work that's being done. Just speak to the importance of that. Uh, Well, absolutely. So intuitively, we all know that if you have a drug testing, substance abuse, world-class system in place, we all know that uh, an organization that has that compared to an organization that doesn't intuitively is going to be safer. According to our safety performance report, actually those with a world-class substance abuse process are 156% safer than those organizations that don't. And that's the data that gives you the comfort that, you know what, this is a good return on our investment. And like any big undertaking, sometimes just taking that first step, taking action is key. So how do you recommend that process to start? What's the one thing to do to really get things going, Greg? Well, fundamentally, and again, the the data uh, that comes out of the safety performance report is astounding and almost shocking to a certain degree. Uh, Again, uh, if I told you that you could possibly be 770 percent safer than the BLS average, would you be interested? Uh, Intuitively, you would say, yes, I'm very, very interested in that. So uh, as Mike says, there are some common threads, uh, a good Uh, substance abuse program. But what it boils down to, uh, we've found that you can realize some of the most significant gains uh, in your safety performance at your organization if you will focus on a new hire orientation that is comprehensive. And as Mike mentioned very early on in this thing at ABC, we're maniacs. This is the one opportunity that C-suite leadership has that opportunity to say there's no daylight between my safety expectations and what I'm going to hold you accountable to. So if I were giving advice to anyone out there that says, what can I do as a first step? I would say evaluate that onboarding process and make sure that every employee that comes into your organization 
has that opportunity to be indoctrinated in your safety philosophies, your safety culture. So you're saying this is something that must come from the top. It's got to have C-suite level buy-in and, and push behind it uh, for it to really resonate. It's got to be something that happens on day one of a new employee coming in to the building. Mike, what did you want to add to that? Well, Jason, in, in the safety performance report, this cause-effect analysis is very nicely compared. So for those organizations that have a world-class onboarding process where leadership commitment and the leadership is present, and that safety portion is greater than 215 minutes compared to a normal average onboarding process, those organizations are 1,662% safer than the organization does the average. So when you think about that, that is absolutely remarkable. And that's what it's all about. And, and one of the things that we can do as an industry is recognize that there's different ways to uh, onboard people. There's unique ways, and it depends on the risk of work that a company is doing, uh, and it's important to recognize that every company and every individual is unique. So you have to design something that's world-class to get the results. We have about 30 seconds left. What needs to be done nationally to positively influence this conversation? I would say that it comes down to leadership commitment and getting a culture where every individual in the industry believes all industries are preventable. Greg? Well, ABC strongly believes that uh, world-class safety is achievable. Mm -hmm. uh, being a product of the industry, uh, I've seen very safe projects in my lifetime. Uh, and so what it would come down to is, again, learning that everyone learns in a different manner. Uh, everyone uh, comprehends things in a different way. But when leadership is behind safety, safety will occur on a project. And Mike, we'll leave it with something that you said earlier. All incidents are preventable. I'd like to thank my guests, Mike Bellaman, President and CEO of the Associated Builders and Contractors, and Greg Sizemore, ABC's Vice President of Safety and Workforce Development. I'm your host, Jason Fornicola. For more on this discussion, visit WTOP.com and search ABC.